Blue collar workers are second class citizens. They're despicable, contemptible members of society who should be relegated to the job site or their trailers and not to mingle with civilized folks. If you've worked a blue collar job, you've probably experienced this bias. I know that in my 22 years of working with my hands, I've certainly experienced this. Whether it's in line at Dunkin Donuts or going to get lunch, the view of a typical dirty, rude, uneducated construction worker isn't typically a favorable one. Now, I've actually had a couple of experiences which I'd like to tell you about, which really put a fine point on this. The first one was when I was taking a towing and recovery course for heavy duty tractor trailers back when I was a mechanic and tow truck driver. I was a CDL holder uh, and I was operating our towing and recovery vehicle. There was a whole bunch of us who had gone to this class on how to upright tractor trailers that had fallen over on the side of the road, not fallen over, but had gotten in accidents and tipped over. They don't typically just fall over on their own. And so we're there and the guy who was teaching it was an engineer. He was the guy who had invented this apparatus, which was supposed to aid in safely riding a tractor trailer. Now, before he started, he was talking about something that he had written in some article somewhere. And he said, you know, I know that you guys aren't a bunch of readers, but blah, 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 blah. That phrase right there hit me like a ton of bricks because I am a voracious reader. I love to read. To that point, I had read quite a bit. And for him to make that assumption to a whole group of people, a whole group of his peers, people who are supposed to be listening to you and taking your word and, and, and paying attention to what you're saying, it was a big, big eye opener to the, the way that people like me were probably perceived. Years later, I had changed industries entirely, and as a newly minted journeyman, I took my job very seriously. On this particular project, we were working and building out an oncology wing at a hospital. And in this hospital, there was a Dunkin' Donuts on the main floor in the lobby. Now, this Dunkin' Donuts was available for anybody who wanted to use it right off the street. Come on in and get yourself a coffee or a bagel or whatever and go on about your merry way. So I was told via memo that nobody from the construction site could use that Dunkin' Donuts. So I asked why, and they said that they didn't think it would be very good for the optics of the hospital if construction workers were, were down to that Dunkin' Donuts. Now, this was an odd answer because at first I thought to myself, well, maybe what it is is they didn't like that there was a few more people added to the line and it was making a delay for the normal customers. But that couldn't have been the case because there was only about 15 of us working on site at that time, and of that 15, only a few would go down there. So that wasn't it. And I also knew that there, they had a zero visibility policy. If you've ever worked in a hospital, you may have experienced this, which is basically they don't want to see any debris or tools. So when you bring your stuff in, you usually put it on a cart, you cover that cart up with a tarp, bring it into the, the uh, job site area where you can unload it. And that's okay, I understand it. They want to maintain the look of a clean and sterile hospital. Understandable, but just seeing us in line at the Dunkin' Donuts downstairs, which wasn't near any sort of operating facility or patient areas. As a matter of fact, it's in a very common area where you see people of all walks of life was another one that really just it shifted my mindset. Now, I get it. Most blue collar guys are a little rough around the edges and it's how we communicate. It's how we mess around with each other and build camaraderie. But also, a lot of the people who I work with dress like slobs, let the expletives fly in places where they probably shouldn't, and they very much reinforce that negative stereotype of the dirty construction worker. So what can you do to change it? Well, unfortunately, nothing. There's nothing you can do to change the testosterone-driven world of construction or most blue-collar work. That's just the way things are. But what you do have control over is yourself. Now, I felt that it's important to change people's minds about construction workers one interaction at a time. Simple manners go a long way, as do not dressing like a slob, dressing cleanly, taking pride in your appearance and your grooming. Now, the beauty of this is that the bar is set so low that by merely doing the bare minimum, you come across as exceptional. Shaving before you go to work, or at least the night before, coming to work in decent, clean clothes, just basically acting like you give a damn. But maybe you don't care. Maybe you're totally fine with the low standards that society holds for us and you're just content to go forward because it means that you don't have to try very hard. Well, that's fine. But all I ask is that you get out of the way of the people who are trying to do better. And if you are one of these people who is trying to do better and change people's minds, you're gonna encounter these people who are gonna try to 
bring you down to their level time and time again. You're going to get asked if you're going to go on a job interview after work or if you have a court date, that kind of thing. Now, I'm not saying you got to wear a tie to work. That would be stupid. But... Be prepared to encounter these people because they're very happy to drag you back down to their level and watch you live a mediocre life just like themselves. Now we may have to eat our lunch out of a van or on the back of a tailgate or sitting on a bucket. And we may have to use these disgusting porta potties which are vandalized with graffiti about somebody else's mother. And we may be awake well before the rest of the world decides to wake up. But many of us are trained professionals. So let's start acting like one.